Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I often do what I call faux enamel. Sometimes I do it with acrylic paints and then just give it a clear glaze of clear nail polish. But I also use colored nail polish. This one is not metallic, it's flat, but it has that turquoise look. It doesn't look so turquoise in this light, but it is. And then this one is sort of a pinky red. This one is gold. And this one is has a little flex of sequins or something in it. Don't use this one as much. I do have other colors, but I thought I'd sh just show you real quick. Um, if I wanted to make it look a little more turquoise, like, a, like an Asian item, you know, I find uh, metallic pieces either in my collection or sometimes you can find them at a thrift shop. But anyway, I found this piece and it needs something in the center there. It had a sort of a cabochon in there and I'll find something, but right now I have not found anything. So I'll just show you how, it, how I go about you go just like that and then I would go here with the nail polish of course you have to be careful you don't get it on your well you don't want it on your fingers or something so anyway I've done half of it like that and it already came with that little bead that was the right color has this little hanging chain too where you could add more stuff. So I've done that and um, right in the center where I'm going to add the camachon. Let me see, I'll use this color. This is where I'm going to add the camachon, so I'll add that just to make it a little more contemporary if that's what you want. Often I like them tarnished and with all the patina that they came with, and that's good too. This one I'm going to make look a little more wooden because I have something in mind for this one. So that's half of it. I didn't do the other side. These are those little bells. Um, these are from Afghanistan, and I have a big collection of this sort of thing from that country of course prior to the war. Okay, so this came off something else. And what I would normally do is I'd paint each little bell with a couple of colors. I'm not going to do that right now because it is a little fiddly. I did this already and um, this was a different pro pretty much a different process. I appliqued on the woman's face and she is, I don't know whether you can see, but she is raised a little bit because I mounted a cardboard and then put her, cut her out of course, and put her on this, I don't know what it was, a metal piece I found somewhere. Covered the back with some script. I also found this um, ball chain and to paint this I used a, some spray on paint. And then um, I did paint this with the turquoise and when it was dry, I gave it a, a sort of an antique look with some brown. It looks really cool as a pendant. And this one is really kind of... Oh my, what is it? It's funky. It was a bunch of things. I had this piece, and I had all these separate things. And this piece, this piece had little holes along there. Perfect for threading something through. And then there was a hole on top, so I made it fancy twisted wire ornamentation. Haven't done anything with this yet, but to give it a sort of a more enameled look, I sort of mixed um, I mixed this color and I mixed the gold and I do have some I also, well actually I used the three colors and then I used some rub on gold buff and then when the whole thing was done, I glazed it with just some varnish. And each of the little dangles that I constructed, I painted in a different way. But it makes kind of a neat... could be a pendant for your neck, or this could be a catch on a bag. haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But 
thought you might like to see these things that I fiddle around and make. I've got a whole box of them. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.